If you've ever tried to make cream of rice only to immediately regret trying because it came out as a disgusting, inedible brick of clay, I know what you're doing wrong. So, pop quiz. Which of these things doesn't matter when it comes to making your cream of rice come out so perfectly that it reduces grown men to tears? That's correct, all of them. Yes, even that one. Let's get schooled. Now, cream of rice is absolutely one of my favorite carb sources, but if I'm being honest, it is a bit of a diva. Kind of particular, has to be treated just right, has a ridiculous contract writer prone to shouting fits with little provocation. Fortunately though, unlike dating a pop star, this stuff comes with an instruction manual, and you found it. There are five key things you have to know to get this right, but once you have those, it's as easy as can be. Okay, so let's speed talk our way through the boring facts here. Cream of rice provides 10 grams of carbs per 12 grams of scale weight. It's super low in trace proteins and fats, so it very neatly contributes almost exclusively to just the carb column in your daily macro tracking. It's a great source of iron, decent source of potassium, low volume, so you can eat a ton if you need carbs, zero fiber, so watch out if you're replacing a bunch of oats with this. That was two breaths, I know. Okay, the first thing to consider seems super dumb, but just trust me, it's important. It's the shape and size of your bowl. No, I'm not kidding. You wanna use something smaller as opposed to a wider mouth bowl. Basically, a bowl with less surface area at the top. This means that it will cool slower as you add water and cook more thoroughly and consistently, and it can't be overstated how important that is to get a good texture. This really is the unsung hero of the cream of rice tips, and I'm giving it to you first right here. Also, as an aside, I'd strongly recommend not using a metal bowl. I'll explain why in point number four. Blatant self-promotion alert, uh, more like this, ranging from the absolute basics to the very advanced, is covered in my Macro Bootcamp online course. If you wanna master every aspect of your diet, hit the link in the description to read more about it. No email list to sign up for any crap like that. Just click it. Point number two concerns water and how we add it. Taking the dry stuff, mixing it with water, and microwaving it is a guaranteed trip to loser town. Population, you, and your shitty cream of rice. It comes out nasty, clumpy. I think that's actually how Legos are manufactured, probably. I've tried it a bunch, and it just never works. And every client of mine who's had it in their meal plan and has tried to microwave it thinks I'm on drugs for saying this stuff is great. You on drugs? So just do not do it. Instead, you boil your water using an electric tea kettle, ideally, for fastest and easiest results. You can also boil it in the microwave or using a burner on the stove, but a tea kettle is gonna be faster and gives you a nice and convenient spout to pour from for accurate measuring, which segues nicely into point number three. You want to add the right amount of water. There will be a little variance here based on the shape and size of your bowl, point one, but generally I recommend starting with just about twice the mass of water as your dry ingredients. So if you measure 70 grams dry cream of rice, I'd add 140 grams of water, measuring that on the scale, of course. Zero it out pour it in. Once you start stirring it, you may find you need a bit more, so just add that in until you get a consistency that seems maybe just a bit too soupy, as it'll thicken up a bit as it cooks thoroughly, which takes maybe 30 to 60 seconds in a small bowl. Quick note also, a lot of people like to add protein powder to their cream of rice, and if you do this, two points to remember. First, Mix the dry cream of rice and the dry protein powder together thoroughly before adding water. Otherwise, the protein powder is gonna clump like a mofo. And when adding water, you wanna start with double the mass of the entire dry mix. So weigh your scoop of protein powder in there as well to figure out the total dry mass and then double that. On to point number four, be mindful of the temperature and how it changes. I mentioned in step one that a larger bowl will allow the water to cool faster and your stuff may not cook as thoroughly. The real thing to watch for here is if you're adding any frozen fruit like berries into the mix. Remember, frozen stuff is cold, cools down the mix. If you're adding some frozen fruit, you add the water, stir it up, let it cook thoroughly all the way, and then add your frozen goodies. This is gonna cool down the whole mix significantly and it will completely stop the cooking process at that point. So make sure you're totally happy with your non-brick-like texture beforehand. Now, back in point number one, I mentioned this. If you're not using a metal bowl, you can now toss this into the microwave to reheat everything. We all know not to stick metal shit in the microwave, right? When you add frozen stuff to cook cream of rice, the stuff in the bowl isn't hot enough and doesn't stay hot enough for long enough 
to totally thaw out the frozen stuff. 30 seconds in the microwave finishes the job nicely at this point. And finally, step number five, we're just gonna sweeten this to taste. If you've added some berries, that'll help, but honestly, that alone isn't enough to make it edible unless you're some kind of food digesting robot. Sugar-free syrup is a common additive. You can use Splenda, Stevia, even a flavored water enhancer if you like. Or if you don't give a shit about macros, you can just add syrup or sugar, though if you're doing that, you probably aren't watching this video. So again, five steps. It seems like a lot, but it's easy. You pick a small, non-metal bowl. Use an electric tea kettle to boil your water. Use just over double the mass of water compared to your dry ingredients. Add your frozen stuff last and finish off with a quick blast in the microwave if necessary. And finally, sweeten to taste. So there you go. That is cream of rice in a nutshell. Tried it. Does it work for you? You still having issues? Leave a comment down below. Check the link in the description to check out Macro Bootcamp. And check out one of these videos also if you want to see more.